You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We have a special guest in the building. Hey, Minnie! Ashley, <laughs> Why are you yelling? Ross. You want a drink? No. She's pregnant. You can't offer her a drink, you idiot. She's pregnant? Yes. Man, act like you don't know. Oh, from my boy P.T. Cruiser. <laughs> Is Pastor Troy your, your uh, baby father? Yes, he is. Now, Go gonna, ahead, PT! Now, I'm going to tell you something, Minnie, that happened behind the scenes, okay? Okay. Charlamagne says that Pastor Troy told him that the whole thing was just a publicity stunt. And the baby ain't his. And that okay. that y'all are just friends. I mean, that wasn't right. a secret rumor. That was out, right? Yeah, yeah that was, was in the news. Hey. Yeah. But now you can check his Instagram, and he's stepping up to the plate. So. Okay. That's I need good. to text Pastor. Y'all a couple? Do? Nah, we friends. We, but why do you we, think he... That's the homie. How Pastor Troy push up on you? Because I've been trying to bang me a midget for a long time. My wife's <laughs> going to stand. Can you say midget? Cause no, because the midget, midget... offensive? Yes, it is. It's like calling a black person the N-word. No, that's it's not. Yes, it is. So what if I say my midget, my midget? That's offensive. But I'm She's saying telling like you, you my... that it's offensive, so midget. stop saying it, okay? Why? Just accept why? it. I'm going with you. Little person sounds worse because you're a grown-ass woman. Right. Little but, person sounds worse than midget to me. Well, just call me by my name. Many, there you go. But that sounds offensive too, because Minnie is like Minnie, like bite size, snack size. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Your name is really Minnie? No. no I have a real name. My mom did not, Minnie, not yeah. So my why mom did is not name me that. Like, is there a reason? Like, we all know why the N word is offensive. Why is midget offensive? Because it's just, just the name of it. Like, if you look it up, it's supposed to be like small person. Like, but you are a small person. Okay, but still, it's just that. It's just offensive. Was there, like a, was there like a white slave master who had a bunch of little <laughs> midgets? I don't, know. Stop, using the word I don't know. stop using the word if it's offensive, okay? I'm glad that you're here, though. I've been wanting to talk to you for a long I time. See. I was, I'm like, y'all, I need to have them up here. <laughs> okay, what, go ahead, Charlamagne. Charlamagne fantasizes about a little person. I bed. want me a little person that got Toya Wright's face. Toya Wright's face and K. Michelle's ass. Well, you need to get the twins, then. So. They look like... Well, they got the booty, so. What's their name? They definitely do. You don't know the twins? No. The tiny twins. The tiny, that sounds offensive. <laughs> I'm Googling right now. Now, I'm going to tell you what it says here. The word midget is considered by little people of America to be antiquated slang term and most often used in a derogatory manner. Right. So. How is it a derogatory? I mean, listen, I'm, I can never tell you what to be offended by because right. I'm, I respect it. Right. But how can the, that word be used in a derogatory manner? Other I mean, than there goes some midgets. <laughs> I'm saying, like, how, what do you, like... You said you're still going to just keep saying it? He's asking, I'm though. asking. I mean, it's been going on for years, so okay. it's just, like, we don't like that word. Did so, you did you know it was always offensive? Did, like, did it hurt your feelings when you used to hear it younger? Or yeah, it... like, I was always bullied when I was growing up. Like, they always, like, I walk down the hallway, and they'll say, oh, look at the midget, or stuff like that. Right. Now, for people who don't know, you have regular... <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but I'm just asking, trying to inform <laughs> the people. You have regular-sized parents. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, yes. Now, that sounds... Up. I'm beyond <laughs> with you. Regular size parents sounds offensive. Dude. I'm offended. <laughs> no, because I mean, Yo, shut up, I'm man. offended. If you don't ask, you don't know. Why so. are you offended? Yeah, why are you offended? Are you her parent? I'm offended. She, you you would have <laughs> just said you got parents that are tall. <laughs> you know what I'm regular size. Why? Why her size can't be regular? This how God made her. You right. right. You right. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys had a lot of drama on this past season. Exactly. Um. So, what made you decide to do the show? Period. I mean, the opportunity came and fell in my lap, and I ran with it, so. How did they come to you? I know you're a pretty well-known hairstylist. Yes. Okay, so how did they approach you in particular? Um, They found me on social media, and I did an interview, and they, they like, ran. You like her. Yeah. So, Minnie, how do you do hair? Do you stand on something? I or stand you... on a stool. Okay. The whole day, the whole time? Yeah. Wow. But that got to be a tall-ass stool. That don't sound, that <laughs> no, sounds I'm dangerous. Not, I'm 4'3", so it ain't. For real? Yeah. As a matter of fact, some of our good friends are about 4'8". I'm thinking about Lil Duval. Lil Duval about 4'9". Yeah. Then. You know Lil Duval? <laughs> yeah. You ever seen him? Yeah. You about, you... Yeah, like I'm right there. Right there with him, yeah. And Sasha Del Valle, she's about 4'10 or something like that. You know. How did you meet Pastor Troy? How did y'all start? Did he see you at a club or he came to the shop and kicked it to you? How was that? Actually, years ago, he came to my hometown, Chattanooga, and performed, and that's when I met him. Don't you think it's messed up, though, because you're probably just a fantasy to a lot of guys? Like a lot yeah, of guys. like, I have to watch out because a lot of guys, they'll be like, you don't know what I do to you and, like, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite position? What's yours? Missionary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I plead a fifth. I can't answer that right now. Does it hurt? 
Does what hurt? Oh, the, what the? What? All right, I don't want to sound like envy, but does it hurt when you're having sex with a regular size human I'm being? I'm regular. I'm so offended right. by that when right. you say regular size fetus, man. So you have a giant? I'm, okay. I'm well, regular. I, you I'm know normal. what it is, man? I'm a normal size. I'm, I'm normal, Her but with little legs. Her vagina is a normal legs. size. Charlotte so you don't have a shallow vagina? Charlamagne has a little person's penis, is what <laughs> he's trying to say. Okay. I don't want to know. I'm never, I'm, <laughs> I want to know. Like I said, I'm regular, like a normal size person. All I have is little legs and little arms. Gotcha. Now, Minnie, you caught some flack for lying. Yeah. People didn't believe you. They actually made you take a test, a pregnancy test. No, they didn't. Oh, they did not? They, they wanted... No, she came on stage and brought the test, and I told her she can, st- you know, stick it up. Right, where the right. sun don't shine. So. Stick it up her ass. Yeah, so You can understand why people didn't believe you. Right, right. So why did you feel the pressure to have to lie? Because, like I said on the show, like, all the other girls, they, you know, they had boyfriends and everything like that, and I felt like the third wheel. And by Troy being my friend for so many years, mm-hmm. I thought that, you know, we can just, you know, play along or whatever. But So you he, guys were friends with benefits? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't be telling no tall tales now. Stupid, man. You know, I have another question, and, and it's, it's going to sound stupid because I honestly don't know. Okay. So when somebody has a little person, is that considered a what? Is that regular? Is that natural? Is it a... It's comedy? in the genes. Is, it's genetic. What? It's genetic. It's genetic. Yeah. So could you have a... Uh, uh, I don't even want to say normal size because I don't think that's the right thing. Could you have like a baby that's... My yeah. size? Yeah, like I have a fifty fifty chance. Size. I'm saying <laughs> what I mean, like I'm not you know what I mean? Like I don't want to I don't like that term. I don't like it's, regular it's and normal. Be offensive. Cause it's saying it's making it seem like you're not regular and normal, right. which I don't like. You know what I mean? Yeah. But could you have that? Yeah, like it's a fifty fifty chance. Okay. That my child might be little a little person or a normal size person. Now as a baby, were you a gonna sound to a little baby? No, I was like a regular size. Seven pounds, six yeah. everything. So everything yeah. was how did when did they realize that it was it was Around the age of nine, probably. No, when I was in kindergarten, I was not the same height as the other kindergarten. That's why they do the test so crazy yeah. on kids. Oh, and nowadays, the they they can do it when you when you're pregnant. You can um, see if you're, you know, if your child's going to be a little. That's when they stick a needle in the belly. Amio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But shouldn't it make you feel more special? Yeah. Because, you know, it's not a lot. I of, love being little. Damn right, it's not a lot of y'all. Because yeah. I get away with a lot of stuff, like going to the movies, child ticket. <laughs> <everything>, so. <laughs> so. What about playing seats? Um, yeah, I'm good. They give you cheap prices? No. Half but I get to cut with. lines. I get to cut lines, so. Really? Yeah. It's not considered a handicap, is it? Yeah, like you can, it's like a disability. So yeah, you can park at the grocery store right in front and yeah, all that? Yeah, because like how do you wow. drive? Is there a thing on your car? Cause... No, like the other girls, they have pedals, extensions. I don't. I just scoot the seat up. You can fit, you can drive and everything? I drive a seat? Charger. So, wow. She probably got her seat just about as far up as mine is. Yeah, I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> when they came to you, do you feel like they was trying to exploit you for the dude show? No, because, you know, the show is basically showing every work, I mean, everybody that, you know, what we go through everyday life. And I was with it. Did Pastor Troy, like, creep around to bag you, or did he just be like, come on, jump in the car? What? What? I'm saying, did he creep around? Did he try to make it a secret that he was smashing? No, you? Uh-uh. Yeah. no, no, mm-hmm. no. So you guys already know you're back for a second season. Yes. yes so that's yes. good news. Yes. What are you doing, man? <laughs> what? I have to leave soon. So I oh. want to take a picture. That's why I have to leave. I don't want to stop the interview. I have to leave. I got to catch a flight. I got you. And we got ready, um, number one reality show. Yeah, I see okay. a lot. Of, now I've seen a lot of clips online of the show. That's what made me actually watch it because I haven't seen any of the other. Um, Ones, but of course, you know, I want to see Atlanta. Yeah. I saw the twins. Who who was you coolest with on the show? Um, The twins. Because mm-hmm. they, like you've seen, they call me Mama Bear. Mm-hmm. And they always. Why do they call you Mama Bear? Because everybody in the whole group, they come to me for advice and stuff. So I'm all, I'm always the peacemaker. When they fighting, I'm telling them, no, don't do that. You know. Do bigger little people get, like, the most respect? Like, if you walk into a room full of little people and you're the tallest, do they automatically, like, <laughs> No. No, we just the same. Hey, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I, hate you. I hate you. Now, are you hoping that Miss Juicy's going to be back for the next season? Uh, or no? No comment on that one. So. You don't like her? I mean, I'm not even going to mention her name because I'm not going to give her the satisfaction on this interview Word. to mention her name. So mm-hmm. she's irrelevant to me. So Where do you get clothes from? I go to Target and wherever. This went small. The it's same small. place you go, because you go to yeah. Target also. Oh, she wear, uh, get a child's clothes. No, I don't 
I got too much booty. He tried to no, cause he tried me. He tried you. He tried me. I, 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 I ain't even. I didn't even assume that. I asked. He no, tried you. Cause she's a she's. Never mind. Now, Pastor Troy did ask for a DNA test. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you are gonna provide that. Yeah. And you know it can't be anybody else's. But right. Yours. Come on now, Minnie. Now you ain't been popping that. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Nobody but Troy. You was a virgin before Troy. I met. <laughs> How many kids you got? Huh? It's your first? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. You sure it wasn't nobody but Troy? Yeah. He no, don't have no girlfriend or nothing that you had to um, square up with or anything? Nah. They know I was thinking place. maybe he was creeping around because he was in a relationship with somebody. No, they know they play, so. Is he going to be on the next season? Hopefully. Just got to stay up? tuned. All right. What made him finally decide to just come forward and be like, okay, yes? and do the right thing. Did you have a conversation with him behind the scenes? No, I mean, you know, sometimes they say when a woman is silent and back away, they come to their senses, so. Ah, so you just started ignoring him and not yep. talking to him because he wasn't doing Like, I thing. deleted all his pictures off Instagram, no. everything like that. How do you feel when we Why ready? Why did you say no like that? <laughs> How do you feel when we ready no. to come on in the club? I turn up. Okay, so you can still hear his music. Yeah. No, I said no like that because you know it's real when somebody delete all their pictures oh, yeah. off the gram now. Yeah. You putting some more back up, though. But you about yeah. to be with him for the next 18 years. <laughs> she probably blocked him. You blocked him. Yep. <laughs> so y'all like the new superstar couple in the A? Yeah, like we're all over social media. We're all over, like, everybody is talking about Miss Minnie and Troy. Mm. You might get a spinoff. Speak it. All right. Well, we're glad that you joined us this, this morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having How us. How has life changed for you after doing the show? Oh, my God. Like, I can't go anywhere by myself. Like, when I go somewhere, they, hey, Miss Minnie, can I get a picture? Like, we was just on the train this morning. You took the train here? Yes. Oh, my God. This traffic was Wait bad. a minute. This is my first time in New York. I so was like, what? It's Normally, like... people don't take the train. People who, <laughs> Charlamagne live here and don't even take the train. You're going to be scared as hell when you see one of them subway rats. They bought your size. <laughs> <laughs> them New York rats. Wait, just so go ahead. What happened? And, like, we were standing there just waiting on the train, and another train passed by, and a guy, he saw who I was. He was like, oh, pointing. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's crazy. But you like it, though. It's yeah, good. Like, I like it. You're happy. Yeah. I feel like that's probably been happening in your whole life, though, just because of. Yeah, you being it's a been people, person. like, trying to take pictures with me, but now it's, like, on another level. Yeah. Like, I had someone crying. Cause they saw me. Wow. Yeah. And that feel good. Though. How many months are you? Yeah. I can't tell you right now. You gotta watch the show. Okay. When is it coming back though? Um, it's coming soon. We gonna start filming pretty soon. So. Will the baby be here before y'all start filming? Mm, look at you trying to. Cut. <laughs> I almost fell into that I one. I almost <laughs> fell into it. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Miss Minnie, for joining us. Thank Ashley, you. Minnie Rouse. Yeah, Rouse. Rouse. <laughs> <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yeah, they keep bringing up Pastor Troy's arrest record now. Does that make you nervous? No. Okay. That's him. <laughs> but that's your baby daddy. Now you got to be okay. concerned about the child. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.